Hello and welcome back. Hope your weekend is going great. If you're here for the first time, thank you for tuning in. And of course, it's been all over social media, what's been happening over in Israel. And of course, we are praying, we are praying for peace to prevail. So once again, thank you for tuning in and let's get into the video for today. So thank you to Le Katerina who posted this on social media. So there have been some clips here where Megan back in the day in 2014 took part in a series of public service announcements, the more you know. The first clip here, she talks about digital literacy and lets us watch this. It's fun to change things up every season, so don't use that old password online. Accessorize with new passwords and change them often to keep your information safe and secure. The more you know. So what a throwback video from the Duchess. She's always been about lending her celebrity to advocacy and charity. So here she is giving that PSA, telling people to change their passwords often. And isn't it just so cool to get to have this capsule here in what Megan was doing around that time. She has always focused her career on being helpful. So uh, she is no stranger to working with charitable organizations and has used her platform time and time again to advocate on behalf of people. And it just shows how far she's come, but she is still the same person. So here's another clip where she talks about uh, the environment as well. I love to travel, but I don't think my meal has to. Eating local means less energy spent on transporting food and fresher ingredients. So I'll be the frequent flyer, not my lunch. The more you know. Wow, what a find. And it does seem like she made both of these announcements on the same day as she's wearing the same outfit. So I love how she says that, you know, she should travel, but not her food. And you know what? It's cool to see that even pre Prince Harry, she had a passion for the environment as well. And of course, the message was, you know, conserve, unplug and, and take time to unplug from social media. You can see that written there in the background and reuse, recycle, taking care of the environment. And it's cool that she's been about that as well. And also, of course, way before all the bullying that she has gone through, you can see her there standing in front of a background that says stop cyberbullying. Think before you text. So share your thoughts on these videos and it's just as i said before one of the many times megan has used her celebrity for advocacy and charity we all know she worked by the way as a global ambassador for world vision um, she also wrote an article for times um, in the same way she traveled to delhi and mumbai to meet with girls and women directly impacted by the stigmatization of menstrual health and she also took time to learn how that hindered the girls education and she has done so much. She also worked with a certain foundation as well, which is tied to her support for World Vision. And at that organization, the women manufactured sanitary pads to sell in communities. Efforts not only provided resources to those young girls, but also fostered open communication on important topics that are vital for communities everywhere. She's also been an advocate for the United Nations she wrote in Elle in 2016 about her experience working with the United Nations, where also she went to Gihembe refugee camp in Rwanda as an advocate for UN women and had a week of meetings with female parliamentarians in the city's capital, Kigali. And they celebrated the fact that 64% of the Rwandan government are women, the first in the world where women held a majority. So Megan has made her dedication to humanitarian work so clear and she is just so perfect for Prince Harry. And just looking at her here and just looking back at all this now with all we know, with the journey that her and Prince Harry have been on, it does really lend that statement that Harry said when he walked into the room, he knew that he had to step up his game. And I think that's a statement on so many levels. Not only was she just physically attractive to him and stunning, I think with more research that he had done on her, he knew that she was someone who uh, stood on her beliefs and she's championed women. She's done so much. And, you know, she also gave that PSA on racism as well. So she has been about this. She is not new to this. She is true to this. And what an amazing team Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are. And yet again, what an L for uh, the royal family to have lost them as one of the pillars there and representing them 
to the world and especially in the Commonwealth where Prince Harry and the Duchess had such rapport and everyone loved them and gravitated towards them. Just wonderful. So I'm so happy to share these clips with you. I love Megan here. She looks so much younger here. Some of the standouts are think before you text hashtag stop cyberbullying. If only she knew how much that would resonate with her moving forward as she joined the royal family and what she's gone through with the heightened level of vitriol that she has gone through. I mean, just looking back on all this now, it is just astounding, isn't it? But she has been consistent. She has had the same interests. She has never changed. She's never, quote, switched it up to attract Prince Harry. When we look back on especially the first interview that they gave for their engagement, they both said that a lot of their interests were aligned and they were passionate about the same things, about philanthropy, charity, giving back, using their platform, their celebrity, their status to uplift others. And they just came together to make the world, quote, a better place. You know, I know that sounds a bit cliche, but, but that is what drew them to each other. So what a pair. I loved finding this. Once again, credit to Le Katerina who shared this on social media and I did a bit of a quick follow up on it and yeah cool to see that she was taking part in such PSAs with NBC and it's just so delightful so share your thoughts on this in the comment section below as always before we log off a very special thank you to all who support this channel financially to all of my patreon paypal and membership supporters I'd like to thank you by name a very very special thank you to you Kathy Aye, I appreciate you for your loving support and your kindness. Thank you. I appreciate you. And Maggie Jackson, you go by that handle. Thank you for your tremendous support and your love and all that you've done in the years of supporting this channel. Thank you. I love you. And a very special thank you to Patricia Lane. You are such a boost. I thank you so much for giving towards my work here. I do not take that for granted. God bless you. Once again, share your thoughts on these videos, on these throwback videos in the comment section. I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you want to watch more videos, click the links in the cards and at the end screens, and I will see you there. Also follow this channel on Twitter. I'd love to see you on there as well. Have a great weekend, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.